All right, I'm right outside Templo de Santo Domingo, and I'm gonna try to show you guys a little bit of what it's like inside without being too too rude. But here you guys go. This place is absolutely incredible. Oh my god. Mexico when you walk around all the time you just see absolutely incredible architecture insanely beautiful churches like this it really is absolutely magnificent look at this you don't got to be religious to appreciate this beauty all right you guys I'm at a buffet here in Oaxaca went to a buffet yesterday it was phenomenal I'm trying a different one right next door Look at this. My plate here. These guys try to be a lot stingier than the other place, I'll tell you. But this is my plate. Look at how it's is where the iguana hostel says it is but it's not there right down that street definitely go to these buffets go to the other one though the other one's a little better see this place right here walk right by it and then you'll see this place right here and then go in there this place is way better much nicer service this place right here i might have to eat there right now i'm not gonna lie Let's see what's up. So right when I came in here, they said you pay, sit wherever you want, and you pay when you leave, which is just the exact opposite of the other place. Way nicer. And this lady already brought me a coffee because she remembered from yesterday. That's crazy good service. Turn down, look at this. The chicken and salsa verde was really good. Really nice, soft and tender. This, this uh, even though now it's got beans all over it, which is just even better, not gonna lie. This uh, beef is really good, way better than the other place. So far, everything's just way better than the other place. Number two, I may get plate number three. Look at that bow, done. Chilaquiles, rice, beans, chicken. I think there was some rib kind of meat. And, uh, oh, and ground beef, done. And the coffee. And I have to get another plate. This place is absolutely amazing, especially compared to the other place. Wow, first of all, it's amazing in general. The other place wasn't even that bad, but like we have a place with way better service. Like for example, it was like, yeah, it's F&B yesterday, right? Because I ate here yesterday as well. And uh, today this guy just, the lady, the lady like yells at me to pay before I uh, even eat there. Not yell at me, but hey, you have to come pay before you eat or something. 
and then um, the guy just puts down the tray and says, uh, thank you for your tips. I'm like, yeah, all right, bro. Like, like, of course, I tipped him, but Jesus. Like, I'm not even tipping as well as I'm going to tip this amazing server I have right here. It's the one I had yesterday. Absolutely amazing. Incredible service here at El Conde. And all the tortillas are made from hand. Made by hand. Amazing. Alright, you guys, I'm walking through the sunny Oaxaca. I just ate at two buffets, three plates, like five coffees, two juices. And I feel good, I can't lie. I feel nice and energized. That's what I need for the day. These vans I want to take to my this place, San, Ho San Jose del Pacifico, today are often called the vomit vans because they keep going around and around and around the mountains. But I think it'll be fine. Took it before, I didn't feel like I was gonna vomit at all. I'm sure I probably ate a very large meal beforehand as well. This is the Zocalo here in Oaxaca. Absolutely beautiful. Great place to just enjoy the day, go for a nice walk. And just see some beautiful sights, look at this. There's usually a guy right over here, and all he does is just talk shit about people who walk by. Literally, that's all he does, especially if you're a foreigner. You're like, where are you going, Wero? Oh yeah, Wero. Like, where this fucking guy from? And then he'll be like, in Spanish, and then he'll be like, hey, where are you from? And then he'll just be talking shit in Spanish. That shit's hilarious, actually. <laughs> 